Hi guys, thanks for joining me. This is Sandals Ochi Part 2. And I'm going to be taking you around on the bus. I hope you can hear me over the waves. It's really, really bad here. Anyways, I'm gonna be taking you to Sandals Ochi uh, Hop Tour. Uh, so I'm gonna be going on the bus. Uh, it was about seven o'clock, it was the first run. And I'm going to take you uh, on a sped up version of the hop tour going from Hillside to Beach Club to the Riviera side and then back up to Hillside. Shout out to Darren at the Ochi to uh, take me around in the morning. It was fantastic. And... Um, then I'm going to do uh, the Beachside Riviera side tour. Uh, it is a lot of walking, so I'm going to probably speed up a little bit of it. Uh, just so you're aware and you're uh, conscious of the fact that it is sped up. So the walk is, the walk is quite a bit. But I want to show you each and every part of Sandals Ochi because it is a really nice resort and it deserves to be shown all of it, all of, all of it shown. So thanks for joining again, like and subscribe and here we go.
folks for the delay I kind of lost my voice there for a while so here we are down at the beach club and as you see there's the two sitting areas if it's raining now they're really sunny so this is the beach club side so on the left side here we have the scuba dive shop here's the schedule for any of you divers it's me included and uh, so we'll walk up here. So inside the dive shop, obviously, you come and register. The pool is to the left of the building. And there's all sorts of stuff in there for sale. The snorkel gear, as you see, t-shirts, um, all, sor all sorts of stuff. To the right of the dive shop is the games area, I'd say, on the uh, beach side. So you got a volleyball net. You got the shovelboard. There is rock wall um, to the back. I've never seen anybody use it, though. And um, see, I don't know. Maybe somebody's used it. If you have made, make a comment. There's chess there as well as the shuffleboard courts. <clears throat> so going around, there is, if you go behind the bandstand, there is a path that will take you to over to the pool area. I'm just going to cut across and uh, so that's the I call it the bandstand the stage where everybody does all the performances the fire show and such uh, this is where they do the beach party uh, we did this um, fire show um, they had gymna um, gymnastic kind of stuff uh, connect four obviously so this is the beach side pool it's a swim up bar In the middle of cleaning it the whirlpool there's all sorts of different lounges around here which is really neat so behind the pool bar it's really raining <laughs> behind the pool bar there's um, little steps that you can go up 
into the different areas where lounges are. And there's a covered area at the very top. And uh, it's kind of neat. It's got a really nice view back there. So these are the cabanas, the beach cabanas that you can rent. Uh, so they come with your sort of butler. Um, I believe it comes with a massage as well. And uh, they will bring you food, uh, lunch, snacks, whatever you want. And you got a gorgeous view of the ocean, obviously. Lots of chairs down here. Unfortunately, other than the ones that are uh, the cabana and the ones with the eggshell on the side, there's not a lot of shade uh, on the beach side. <clears throat> so this is... Um, there's kimonos straight ahead. So Mariners and uh, Neptunes is right here. It was really, really windy. So some of the decorations are all over the place. Um, it has a good burger, chicken burger. Really good. So kimonos is there. There's a bathroom's off to the right side there and that's the entrance way to kimonos just so you know you can't come to the back so there's the wedding chapel straight ahead over the water wedding chapel i'm not going to go out there because it's kind of slippery it's a little rainy um but the floor is a like a plexiglass floor so you can see right into the ocean um, and it's got obviously gorgeous views of the ocean with all the glass surrounding it. So kimonos is to the right. Uh, that's along where the tables are. Again, the entrance is uh, coming off from the beach side, uh, like I showed you. Fire pits and some cozy little chairs there, lounge chairs there. And then soy is right up top there. So there's two ways you could take the stairs up to um, uh, soy from where I was standing, where I was showing you the wedding chapel, or you could come up these stairs. Either way, there's stairs to get up. So far is kimonos. And then this little building here is soy. And let's walk across here. And this is going over now. We're going into the Riviera side of the Ocho. So out on the dock there, there's Kelly's. And then there's the little cabanas. Um... There was really big destruction, the wind, the, the waves, it was crazy. Tapas is great food. Um, calamari's there is amazing. And the steak sandwiches, it's, they're, it's all really, really good. So Kelly's is to the left. And then the one straight ahead are the over the water where you can do your candlelight dinners or you can do your massages. <clears throat> Those stairs going up, I'll show you in a bit, but they take you to the Italian restaurant. So this is the um, bar, beach, um, ocean beach bar. Uh, it stays open really late, and they have lots of activities during the day here as well. <clears throat> so there's the DJ booth, there's um, Jenga, the bars in there, there's washrooms are in the bar in there if you're staying over on this side. So I skipped over um, walking through the water there, but now we're over to where the um, beach activities are. So there's all sorts of chairs to my uh, right here. So this little hut here is where you sign up for any of the activities. Snorkeling, lots of chairs. Um, there's snorkeling, uh, 
the um, signing up for the trikes, the paddle boards, anything you want, hobby cats. Those stairs I'll show you as well. Um, I'll show you where they are in the video up from the top. So we'll come up behind the aqua center here. Up more stairs, lots of stairs. And there's some cabanas uh, to the left. I'll show you in a second here. So these little cabanas here, I don't think you have to reserve them. I don't ever see a lot of people using them, um, but they're really nice. They have a nice view overlooking the ocean. Uh, going up top there, there's just some lounge chairs up there. So you, if you want to sit up there and then the bars un down underneath there. Straight ahead is Bellinopoli, one of the pizza places. This is the beachside pizza place. I showed you Dino's, which is the other side, the hillside. So this pool here is the Riviera side on the ocean. Um, it has the pool bar, so you can swim up or you can get out and get drinks from uh, underneath. There's generally always chairs available here. Um, you do have to somewhat come early, but eight, nine o'clock, you still will probably find a couple chairs available. So as we come up behind the pool and Bellinopoly, the pizza place, to my right here is the amphitheater. So all the shows at night will be to the right here. There's a basketball court straight ahead. My kids loved playing on that. And we could watch the show and they could play basketball, whatever. So again, to the right here. So the amphitheater that does all the live shows. And then straight ahead is the wedding where you go for any of your wedding needs and the nurse's station is there as well. There is a little whirlpool as you can see there. So there's the nurse's station and anything for the wedding um, meetings and stuff like that is all held in, in there. So coming up from behind the wedding uh, and the nurse's station is uh, the Reef Terrace uh, restaurant. Um, it, I believe it serves more of the Caribbean Jamaican style food. Uh, we didn't get a chance to eat here, unfortunately. The views are absolutely stunning. And uh, Ethel's Piano Bar is open for the late night after the amphitheater is closed. Uh, everybody goes to the Reef restaurant. Look at those views. It's absolutely beautiful. So from the stairs that I showed you going from the beach, uh, it comes up to, from that entrance there. So if you come up from those stairs to the left is going to be your whirlpool and stairs to the pool. And coming up to the right is coming up to the reef terrace here. So again, behind us is the amphitheater, the wedding uh, station, and the nurse's station. So we walk along here. There's um, in behind all these bushes here is a little wedding chapel or wedding gazebo. It's really, really private in there. When you get in there, um, all the hibiscus flower bushes are covering it. So it's really, really private. I'll come back and show you those, that pool there. I'm just trying to take all the paths to show you guys everything that I can. So you have somewhat of an idea of where you're going uh, 
because it is a really big place. And uh, I know a lot of people kind of get lost when you're here because there's so many different ways to get around. Um, so I'm trying to show you every direction that you can go when you're here. So coming up here, we're walking into the Riviera building. So on either side, there's the ponds that are filled with the koi fish. On this side, there's some blue lobsters. So take a look for those. So on both sides of the hillside and the beach side, they all have the Island Roots desk, the loyalty desk. You have the TV that will show you all of the um, activities through the week. So coming up these stairs here, uh, there's the elevators to go up to the building. And this desk here is your concierge desk for the luxury level to make all your dinner reservations. Some rainy day pool time. Couple pool tables. Your club lounge. As well as your Epic's photo center. Again, you have both sides. Both sides show you the exact same stuff. Well, walking over here, there is the uh, coffee bar to the right. And then another bar this one is open but behind it there was construction going on to fix up the lounge out there and hopefully it's done soon because that lounge is really neat to look out um, over the ocean have nice drinks they had saxophone player there one night so vista skies right ahead and it's for breakfast buffet lunch and then as well as there's dinner go during the sunset because it's really, really pretty. So the stairs that I showed you before the ocean bar, um, we're coming up here to the Italian restaurant. Valentino's is resort evening, so pants are required for the guys, okay? And let's go back inside here. So the TV, Island Roots is to the right side there. And we'll come back out here. We can see any of the blue lobsters. I don't think I've seen any, but they usually hang around that little tree there. So, Riviera building. And then we walk, walk along the path here. So that's the path that I was, that I came down to get into the Riviera building, where the reef uh, terraces, wedding amphitheater but I'll show you other ways to get to the amphitheater guys I just wanted to show you um, this pool that's over here this is one of the quiet pools no music plays here towels are available nice nice little quiet um, pool and up these stairs here is a little whirlpool. Well, not little. It's a pretty big size whirlpool. <clears throat> there is somebody in there, so privacy. I try not to to take pictures of them, obviously. Um, but so there's the whirlpool. And let's go back out. So I'm the other side of the pool now. Shuffleboard. That's the amphitheater right there. Straight in front of us. Reef Terrace is off to the left. So we come up to the right side of the pool. This is the smoking section here, guys. If you're wondering where these folks in these buildings here can smoke, it's right there by the shuffleboard courts. So straight ahead is the tennis courts for this side. Again, beach side and the uh, hillside are duplicates so you don't have to worry about if you're missing something on the other side other than restaurants the beach side has everything as well the red line spa red lane spa is here and the exercise fitness center is in there <clears throat> so let's speed it up a little bit here 
quiet pool, amphitheater, shuffleboard, smoking sections behind me here. And I'm going to take you through this little path over here where the um, there's a little pond here. Um, it's just a, another quick little way to get uh, to the to the hop after the amphitheater is done if you don't want to go to Ethel's. So coming along here, you go down this little path here. And again, behind us would be the shuffleboard smoking section amphitheater, the spa, and the pool obviously going down to the beach uh, where the uh, aqua center is. So the path to the right here is going to the Riviera building. Um, the, this path goes to the amphitheater. That path goes to the amphitheater. However you want to get there. So going into here is where you pick up the hop. These koi ponds everywhere on this side are absolutely amazing. They're so beautiful. The grounds here, ah. Oh, it's it's absolutely beautiful. So in here you'll find the front desk. Again, a TV. Washrooms. So this is the front desk up here. And this is where Luxury Level would check in. The trading post here is one of the resort shops. And then the hop for the bus to get around as well as the golf course uh, hop would pick you up right here. <clears throat> I'm going to show you this side here. So this is the smoking section uh, for where the hop is. But I love this little walk through here because it's really, really pretty. And uh, again, the gardens here, the grounds here, some little sitting area up here. If you want to grab your pizza or burgers, come and sit out here. But if you come up these steps here, there's little turtles. Look at the grounds. Aren't they gorgeous? There's a little turtle. So that's it for the beach side and the Riviera side. I hope you enjoyed my video. Like and subscribe and we'll see you later.